Hello. Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office show. I'm going to attempt to do an unboxing today in the Ashen style. I can see why he does it. It's actually quite a good uh, way of doing it. And I'm going to do this product here. It comes in a box, and it's a weird. Um, it's a weird name. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's A N D O E R. Andor, 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 and we'll open that up. I got this on Amazon, Amazon US, with some Amazon dollars that I have sort of crewed over the last couple of years. I think it was about twenty dollars, but I, I couldn't possibly comment. I'll leave a link down below when I found out how much it is. But yeah, it's a sort of pan tilt head that you get for your tripod, um, for your camera. And if you know, traditionally, if you ever buy these things, because you can get the, tri the cameras, uh, tripods themselves quite cheaply or quite expensively. Um, and uh, these are separates. And I had a sort of Manfrotto uh, tripod, which has a Manfrotto head, which is great. And it's got universal things and it's actually a video uh, tripod so it's quite heavy and it's got all the nice things but this thing is, is more of a sort of camera type accessory and uh, they come with this sort of standard screw thread and I don't know the size don't quote me on it well don't quote me on me not knowing uh, I definitely don't know but it's quite a large one and you just sort of screw that on and that's it you've basically got your tripod but the nice thing about this one is you've got this adjustment on the back and I don't know if you can quite see it there but there's a graduated scale here and you can loosen that right up and remember it's, it's quite hard to turn because it's designed to be on a, on a tripod a heavy tripod but it's, it's really weighted you could see, I don't know if you can see that but it's so smooth it does move pretty smoothly I do like that it's a good action and then you've got this massive ball I don't know if you've ever used smaller tripods that use these sort of ball systems but they're sort of tiny and then the weight of the camera alone lens will just drop it straight down but this thing is mammoth I mean just going to show you how tight. I'm going to crank this up a little bit. So there you go. It's just nice and tight. And I'm going to try to pull it towards me. Right? Ready? Three, two, one. It will not budge. It will not budge. I mean, I don't think there's any camera you've got that's going to withstand that. But then when you loosen it up, look, it's just super loose, dude. I mean, it what happens if you keep loosening. I haven't tried that yet. That's, oops, that one comes out. That one comes out and that's it. That's just super loose. So clearly these um, pointy bits must just sort of wedge into the bottom of something that's pushing up on the ball. But you can see in there just some silicone. There's a brown silicone. Other features. Well, I, let me just crank these back in. Other features. You've got your spirit gauge right there on the top. And you've got a spirit gauge there on the side. I was trying to think, why would you want a spirit gauge? On the side and I think that's because you want to do that so when the camera itself is mounted because sometimes you do mount the camera in the portrait orientation so that's for, for that because remember it's for photography which is cool I mean that's quite nice it's not really going to use it much for video unless of course you're doing um, I have done it before and I've done green screen and I'm doing a composite and I want to maximize my um, fill to fill, fill up the frame um, I've done it often in portrait so you've got this sort of reasonably quick release. I say reasonably because you can see there, you screw that out. It's actually just like a, like a vice. It's like a vice piece. So it might be nice to get more of these if you want to be able to swap them between your equipment. But it's quite nicely made, really. I'm not quite sure. I have to admit, you've got the centre screw there, but I'm not sure what these Allen screws here are for because it doesn't look like they're really keeping anything compressed because it's just a solid solid build and so the only thing I can think of is that there's something to do here because there's two rebates here but they don't yeah they kind of lock in a bit it, it's like as if why would you want just that minor amount of motion but I guess you might perhaps it's just to balance the camera or just to shift it a little bit you know left to right just to get it because sometimes these might not be quite in the center so between that and this extra movement on this screw you can get it all right but I can't really show it to you with a camera on because I'm using the camera right now, but there. 
So yeah, if you, if you ever come across a tripod in a car boot cell and you, you know it hasn't got one of these, or you can see it's got one but it's missing the quick release, and remember there's loads of different types of standard of these bloody plates and you think you can't get one, but you could, you could get one of these, um, that would work. Now I have noticed that sometimes there's some surveying type tripods and things like that and they all use the same screws. So you might, you know, you often see those at car boot sale, which we use for some sort of theodolite or something that uh, no longer exists with it. But yeah, you could invest in one of those and plop that on. And uh, yeah, you've, you've upgraded a sort of two pound cheapo tripod from a car boot sale to now a 22 pound one with a decent head. So yeah, hope that's been of some use to you, you camera lovers. Uh, please comment down below, like, share and subscribe if you're uh, that way inclined. And as ever, thank you for watching.